In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I begin with a prayer. Hail, O cross, our only hope. Hail, O cross, sweet is the load that hangs on thee. Hail, O cross, thou alone wast worthy to bear the King and Lord of heaven. Hail, O cross, on thee hangs our salvation, life, and resurrection. Hail, O cross, through thee, Jesus our Savior vanquished sin and death. Hail, O cross, through thee, Jesus our Savior opened the gates of paradise. Hail, O cross, upon thee Christ the Lord was glorified, and the streams of immortality poured forth from his side. The Holy Cross is at the beginning, and the Holy Cross is at the end. At baptism, we are signed with the cross of Christ, and at death, we are signed with the same cross. Upon awaking every morning, we make the sign of the cross, and before we go to sleep at night, again, we make the sign of the cross. The holy sacrifice of the Mass begins and ends with the sign of the cross. And every time that we receive our Lord and our God at Holy Communion, we receive him with the sign of his cross. At the Last Judgment, Jesus Christ will judge the living and the dead with the very same cross upon which he died for our redemption. Thomas Akempis teaches, quote, In the cross is salvation. In the cross is life. In the cross is protection from thy enemies. In the cross is infusion of heavenly sweetness. In the cross is strength of mind. In the cross is joy of spirit. Close quote. And Jesus Christ, the Son of God, says, quote, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Close quote. Matthew 16, 24. Pray, my children, for the grace to take up your cross and follow Jesus. One cannot be a disciple of Christ if one is not carrying the cross. One cannot enter the glory of heaven without the cross. The cross, you might say, is your entry pass into heaven. So pray, my children, pray. Pray for the grace to accept and love the cross. That is, trials, sadness, humiliations, sufferings, sickness, setbacks, privations, and persecution. All for the sake and love of Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.